Let's make some dinosaurs. We can do this. We've done it before, and we'll do it again. Wow. Oh, oh. Uh, ow. Guys. Wacka, 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 wacka. Don't screw this up. I'm trying not to. <laughs> I'm trying not to. <laughs> All right. I kind of want it to look like an exhibit at the Natural History Museum, so like a diorama. This challenge is realism. So what we're doing is we're making dinosaurs. We're going to make them very real. They're going to have skin texture. They're going to have motion. I'm thinking like some sort of pterosaur, some flying dinosaur flapping on the back of a stegosaurus, like eating it. Ooh. He's like, eat me. I like it. <laughs> Take a thigh. It's one of those challenges that you can really sink your teeth into. <laughs> I think the, the armor dinosaur is probably going to be the way to go, especially if realism is the challenge. The only other thing is, can we make his tail wag? We have 20 hours. There is no can't, Ralph. There is Fine. no no. OK, we're doing Zool with a wagging tail. I'm going to die. Zool is about 17 foot long in real life. So we're making a 16 and a half foot real life-size Zool. So this is the dino blood. Mm. Do dinosaurs have red blood? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And made out of uh, raspberry puree. It mm. smells delicious. I want to have a chunk of the stegosaurus missing. I want to put a blood pump in there so it like bleeds. Turn it on, turn it on, right. see some squirts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> blood bath over here. <laughs> If I heat these a little bit, they should stick. In order to make this realistic dinosaur, it has to have realistic eyes. You pour the sugar into these silicone molds, and when you flip them out, they have this beautiful glaze on them, and they look so real. The people will sit into it. It's realism, so I'm feeling the pressure to make these look realistic, even though no one really knows what a dinosaur eye looks like. I love that the two dinosaurs are so different. Mine's kind of an evil jerk, and his dinosaur is going to be nice and soft. Oh, sweetheart. And slightly friendly. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to make his texture a little bit smoother, almost like you could pet him, where mine needs to look spiky and kind of evil. So pointed scales for me. I'm just getting any little uh, air bubbles to make it perfectly clear. Oh, yeah. That looks awesome. Ralph. Oh, let me see. Aaron, those are right, they look so good. Like them. I got my eyes in the back of my head. See, so Ralph, your, your, joke, your jokes are rubbing off on me, Ralph. Look, I got eyes in the back of my head. Who am I? Ralph, right? It's not that funny, really. Joke. That I know, that's what your jokes are. Bad. Not funny. My jokes are like that? Just like that. That was a Ralph joke. I had no idea. Whoa. His tail's falling off. You can't kill anybody with your butt hanging off. Do a little nub tail. All right. Cool. I can do that. So you feel OK about that? Yes. Yeah. Some of these dinosaurs have like a little nub instead of a full tail. And honestly, I think that's more accurate historically. Let's go give him a butt. So I just gave him a nice little nub like a bulldog. It's gumball time. Yes, buddy, yes. Put the bottles on the dinosaur. <laughs> the back of Zool, we want that back to look all armored and bumpy, and gumballs are perfect for this. This thing makes me so happy. This is going to be just a big, delicious, chewable bubblegum dinosaur. Seems good. Real nice. nice. Real nice. Cake is done. Now it's in the hands of the judges. Well, it's in the hands of Jeff driving it over there, so hopefully we don't hit a speed bump or something and then we crash the cake. This thing is going to look so real, they might run when they see it. You guys want to see it? Yeah. All right. Welcome to.